So in the video information is visual, I talked a bit about visual thinking and how it can help us to organise our thoughts. In this video I wanted to go into that in a little bit more detail, looking at some particular types or strategies for visual thinking and also looking at how the things that we create as part of visual thinking can actually be used to communicate what we're thinking to other people. Some of the tools we can use in visual thinking include sketch notes, diagrams, mind maps, infographics and visualisations. I covered infographics and visualisations in detail in the Information is Visual video. In this video I wanted to focus on sketch notes and mind maps in particular. So here for example is a presentation that I put together a little while back and this is a product of brainstorming. Um, it was a bit of a mind map because what I was doing was writing key concepts that I wanted to convey in a presentation and I put them all on the wall on post-it notes in different colors for different concepts and then I moved them around and grouped them. Now I happened to be doing this in a uh, workshop space where other people could see what I was doing as I was compiling my presentation. So it was at a conference and I was in the speaker's room um, and I was looking at my images on the wall and people were kind of commenting on my process and then I thought you know what I have actually done the presentation here on these slides. So I just wrote two extra slides. The title slide was the title of the presentation, another slide um, on another post-it note uh, with my contact details and I lie it was actually three extra um, post-its and another one at the other end for questions. Um, so my whole presentation for this particular uh, conference paper was photographs of post-it notes on a wall. So I'd mind mapped on the wall and then I took photos of it and used it for my presentation materials. Here's another way that I have used visual thinking to help me understand things. This is a photo from my home office from when I was working on my PhD findings chapter. On the uh, wardrobes we have glass doors so I can write on them with those um, special glass chalk pens. Um, and so on the left hand side you can see um, an initial diagram that I was using to help me understand the way the phenomenon I was looking at is um, it can be represented visually. And on the right hand side you'll see um, where I've just been throwing ideas down uh, onto A4 paper and sticking them on the wall. What you can't see here is that every other wall in the office had other stuff on it too. So um, there were sections for um, my findings chapter which was on this wall and there were sections for uh, my discussion chapter, my method chapter. I had a wall that just had interesting things that I didn't want to forget to put in somewhere but I wasn't sure where to put them and then I had a wall for things to come back to when I was editing and all of those things were written on a post-it note or an index card and having them visually in the room really helped me to know that my thoughts were ordered and things were in the right place and I could get back to them later. So another great tool for visual thinking is sketch notes. Sketch notes are where you sit during a presentation or a lecture and you make notes on um, what's being said. You can also do it about readings. For example, one of my, colle my colleagues is having her students um, create sketch notes about their key readings this semester. So sketch notes can be awesome, beautiful things like this, full of images um, that help to convey uh, meaning or they can be um, less uh, illustration based and perhaps a bit more text heavy and um, maybe less polished. So these are particularly beautiful examples of um, sketch notes here on this page. Uh, sketch notes can be done on paper or you can even use a tablet and a stylus um, which I've done quite a bit and is quite fun. Here's another example. Um, it's a bit less image heavy um, and probably something that more people would feel comfortable um, with drawing. I know some people get a bit um, nervous about drawing things and having other people watch them draw things. Um, so this kind of style is a good way to ease in because there's not too, too much drawing here, um, but it does get you started with organizing um, your thoughts and ideas in different regions on a page and exploring the relationships between them um, by the way you position them on the page. Here's another example, um, which again, isn't the very image heavy, very, very polished drawing version. Um, again, this kind of style would be a good way to 
ease into um, sketch noting. Um, and here is mind map. So I showed you before, or I talked before about having um, a mind map on the wall with my post-it notes for my presentation. Here's another one um, that I just pulled off Flickr for you to look at. Um, it's about how Flickr is used in education and you can see all the different ways that it's used coming out of it and then um, subways below that. So this is a really useful way to understand the relationships um, between things. Mind mapping uh, is a really good tool. It's quite a powerful tool. Here's another one of my mind maps, um, and I apologize for the slightly blurry photo of this, but um, this was a presentation I did on creati creativity at a conference, and the presentation was called Six Impossible Things Before Breakfast, um, which is a quote from a children's book, um, and it's about doing, uh, being creative in your everyday life. So um, nurturing creativity and developing yourself as a crea creative practitioner and why that is actually um, useful to you in your professional practice. Um, and so in this instance, I decided just to draw um, the presentation out on a big sheet, a huge sheet of um, brown paper, and I stuck it up on the wall and photographed it. And this process, because I was already mapping this process, I started with um, this what is creativity up the top. I was doing that as a, a way to kind of get myself into writing the presentation. Then I thought, this is crazy. I'm talking about mind mapping and creativity and all these techniques. I should actually use it for the presentation. So I then um, kind of switched from the A4 paper I was writing on, started writing on the brown paper, organized the presentation, and then um, I photographed it. And I photographed each region and I put it in Prezi so that it actually uh, zoomed in and out of the presentation. So that's it for this video on visual thinking, but I've also included lots of links to resources that can help you with visual thinking on the week four infographics page.